What the frick is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is January 16th. It's Monday um, and I just wanted to come on here and uh, I know I told you guys I was going to make a video on my goals and aspirations for 2022. Um, the video kind of got delayed just from a lot of things that have been going on with my life lately. I was sick last week so uh, sorry there was no upload. Uh, I do feel better. I did not have COVID luckily, but I did have a uh, pretty bad strep throat, um, but I'm back and uh, today was actually my first day back with my coach um, of the new year. He unfortunately had COVID and with some delays and stuff like that, we couldn't get uh, back right into the gym January 1st, unfortunately, but uh, January 16th, it's close enough and uh, we're making really good strides so far. Uh, I'm walking myself back into the gym uh, and I'm making some good games um, from when I was sick, which it's always hard because you, you feel like you backtracked a little bit once you get sick, but you know, it's working hard enough to get um, that strength back and definitely eating a lot to regain some size. Um, but with that being said, I'd like to share some uh, stuff with you guys and uh, just kind of be a little bit open and honest and uh, you know if you have any questions or anything like that um, feel free to leave a comment. So uh, with that being said I'm going to start off with just my goals and then I'm going to kind of explain to you um, you know maybe how I'm going to accomplish it and what I'm going to do. So first off and for uh, everybody who knows this channel is going to be really, really focused on my uh, lifestyle and fitness, um, but with a little sprinkle of uh, my car enthusiast uh, side as well. But it's mostly going to be a lot of lifestyle and fitness vlogs. Um, so if that's not what you're into, sorry, you're out of luck, but that's what I want to produce these videos for. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy that content. But anyway, um, I would like to compete in my first bodybuilding show, um, you know, this year. Uh, I was planning on doing an April show and then realizing that, uh, you know, I didn't have the size that I would like to, you know, win a real show. Uh, I've quickly realized that April is really going to be rushed and I'd rather not rush this. I'd rather be uh, really, really um, full on stage and just show up with my best physique and um, be the best com competitor I can at this because uh, you know that's what's going to make me better at all this. Um, so I'm hoping like you know maybe summertime would probably be good. Um, at latest, it would be like fall, early fall, like October. Um, but this year we're definitely going to compete in a show. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I do martial arts. Um, and I'm currently working towards my fourth degree black belt and that's going to be in April. So it's going to be a going to be a busy year, going to be a busy beginning of the year. Um, but I've been making strides for this for a long time and it's just something that is really, really, um, you know, big on my life just because, you know, my whole family and everything. And I also teach and, um, you know, fourth degree black belt is a pretty big deal. Um, not only for my family, but for me and my passion for the martial arts and uh, furthering my education and everything in that. So uh, I, I will be earning my fourth degree. Um, I'd like to learn how to cook better because I am a horrible cook. I'm really bad at it. Uh, I'm trying to meal prep better, but if I learn how to cook better and uh, actually educate myself on how to cook, my meal preps would be so much smoother and I'd probably be um, gaining size and having a better balanced diet. So that's that's going to be a big thing for this year. I'd like to coach competitors, um, coaching competitors, whether that be um, helping out with, um, you know, martial arts specifically because that's what I know how to coach, but also just in the gym and trying to motivate people. Um, so it's not just coaching on certain things, but more just motivating people. Um, but coaching in martial arts is like a really big thing for uh, the competition side. I used to do that, a former competitor, and I like to kind of get back to that side of, you know, me. Um, now that I'm older and I've realized a couple things and I know a little bit of tricks, 
um, I'd like to help out the competitors um, that may be wanting to get into the sport um, because it's a really cool thing um, once you get into it and stuff but it's just really hard to find the right people and um, you know get a good coach so I like to be that kind of uh, inspiration I'd like to grow this YouTube channel and create more content um, and that's a big thing for you guys is this channel is not going anywhere um, I know I'm not as consistent as I'd like to be I'm still trying to learn this I'm only a couple months in um, but it's all about experimenting and uh, I'm really enjoying creating content um, and whether that be YouTube forever or whatever I just like to create it um, and post it but uh, realistically I like to have a hundred followers um, you know within the next couple months and I think it's totally doable I think it's just putting in that work and stuff but um, you know for you guys I hope the family keeps growing in this YouTube journey I like uh, to kind of get into e-commerce and like stocks and day trading and uh, just a little bit more knowledgeable in um, you know the world of like cryptocurrency and stuff like that um, not only just to make money but to be a little more um, smart with uh, investments and stuff like that um, it's a big thing nowadays it's easy to earn money if you really know what you're doing but it's another to keep earning a steady income but also gaining the knowledge and that's what I kind of want to do um, another thing that I um, that's going to kind of tie all this together with the cryptocurrency and all that is just creating a pocket of generational wealth for me um, so later on in life like I start early now later on in life I don't have to stress about income and stuff like that and I could set myself up very successfully and uh, you know I think that's the goal for everybody but you know I'm really trying to stride forward to uh, make that possible for me and my future family and everything like that um, also kind of finding a, you know a career path that I really want to go into and um, I'm starting to kind of narrow down choices and stuff I'm still young uh, you know things can change I, I'm gonna grow as a human so you know your directions are always going to change but narrowing down a path so you're not always can confused on what you want in life um, and just sending it and just putting all your effort in one thing and you know if it doesn't work out then you just figure it out and you find another passion and hobby and turn that into your work and everything like that um, and that's that's a big thing once you're when you're young like me that um, you know just narrowing down paths are really hard and difficult and you kind of realize that it's not as easy and you don't want to get stuck in a job that you hate um, but you gotta figure them figure things out while you're uh, you know working and being a productive person of society in my opinion um, I want to take more photos and videos which is also goes into the creative space um, learning how to edit better getting better software um, getting better camera equipment learning different angles tricks and stuff like that um, and that just goes back into the videos which you know this is going to be affecting you guys just as much as me because the content you guys watch will hopefully be getting better as I grow um, which is very important um, just just fun little goals uh, we're kind of moving towards like fun stuff it's um, I like to get more tattoos I have one tattoo right now it's on my wrist um, it says do more I know it's backwards on the camera but um, that is a symbol of my life that I like to follow do more um, is kind of just always trying to make that uh, getting that step above everybody else and just uh, experiencing more things and uh, putting all your effort into something you know when I'm at the gym and I'm lifting and I don't think I can go anymore it's always in the back of my head do one more just do one more it's not it's not that difficult to do one more and if you get two three four five that's even better um, but just always having that do one more mentality is is really helpful and that's why I got it tatted on my body um, but moving forward from that I'd like to get a couple more tattoos um, I think it's an expression of who I am and uh, I just like art 
and so having like an art piece on my body would be cool. Um, I have to limit what I can do just because I want to be a good com physique competitor and um, you know blocking and putting ink on a body part that's going to be a key feature on stage is not going to necessarily get you the best results. Um, so you got to be selective on what you can and can't do. Um, as as far as right now, once I get bigger and put on more size and things are a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit bigger and stuff like that, it'd be a little different because it'd be easier to tell. But as of right now, um, I'm trying to be a little strict on, you know, where I'm putting stuff. Uh, start autocrossing my car. Um, I have a Scion TC, I just bought it. I like to start autocrossing and doing some, uh, some just like light sport driving and stuff like that. I have my Mustang that I like to get into. You know, I mess around and do stuff and I've done autocross before and it's really, really fun. Um, but really putting more effort into practicing. Uh, I live by a track. It is really possible for me to get into autocross and I think I could be really good at it and it'd be just another hobby that I could uh, do and be successful. And, I want to build my true uh, favorite daily, which would be building the Scion. I know it's just a Scion TC, but um, you know, for those people who like car content and stuff, um, that's a really good car to kind of build off of, and it's a really cool platform. And I just want the perfect daily driver, and that's what I want that car to be. And then, uh, uh, um, and then as far as you know, my my project car, Selena, you know, that's not going anywhere either. Um, and I really want to build that platform and uh, do some crazy things with it, um, but keep the classic look on it because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a classic car enthusiast as well as a tuner boy. And, uh, you know, I like the classic look and the old design and the old carbureted motor. And I'm going to put a few clips in here. I started her and, uh, you know, just it sounds so cool and stuff like that. So just building that. Uh, big thing that is um, big with the fitness journey and just um, lifestyle in general is um, not letting yourself feed into everybody else's plan. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I'm gonna kind of break that down for you guys. So a lot of people my age like to party, like to drink. Um, I've been through it, done that phase. You know, it was for me at one time. It's not for me anymore. I'm over it. Uh, I feel like I'm a little bit better than that and just to drink my life away and party all the time. Um, now, don't get me wrong, you should always let loose, and um, but there is a time and place for that. And, uh, you know, I was talking to my coach today, <coughs> excuse me, is um, partying and drinking is, uh, it's fun in the moment, but when you have to get up for lifting in the morning and you have a goal in mind um, and you have to work twice as hard for what you did that night before. And uh, I don't like that. I don't like feeling like I'm behind. And so the best way to do that is just not letting yourself go down that rabbit hole, um, which is just all about mindset. And um, with 2022, my mindset's going to be hammered down and uh, it's going to be the best it's ever been. <coughs> and that just is... Um, you know, that's a big thing is just not letting your mind um, get swallowed by everything else and outside forces, which brings me into another goal, is not letting outside forces control your decisions and your path. Um, you know what you want to do with your life. You need to make it happen. Don't let anybody tell you not to do something. Don't let anybody deteriorate what you want. Um, and that's, that's a big goal. Um, so I hope you guys kind of take that with your life as well and um, you know we can kind of grow that way together uh, grow spiritually um, you know that doesn't mean like following the Bible word for word or a certain religion um, but just growing spiritually being thankful for what you um, have in this life and uh, living in the moment um, and I think that's just kind of self-explanatory um, but <coughs> Another one is learning to accept and um, self-love, which is something I battled, um, you know, in my life, and I still am battling it. Um, I'm getting a lot better. Um, you know, I think fitness is a big thing, just on mindset. But you know, you also have that love and your passion um, 
because you can see results in your body transformation and stuff like that. Um, but self-love is a big thing and learning to accept um, is it's kind of self-explanatory in my mind too. Anyways, I thought I would share all that for you guys. That's all I really got right now. Um, you know, everything is still going to be keep growing, um, you know, as far as the goals. You know, those are just my baseline goals. Um, you know, I have a couple other ones too, but they're kind of more for me. Um, these are good goals that you guys can kind of keep me accountable to. And you'll be able to see the uh, effects of those goals and me working towards them, which is really cool. And that's why I like creating this content for you guys. But with that being said, um, I started my car. I, I thought I would throw that in this video. I know it's kind of a random video. It's different than what I've ever done. Um, but I think it's always go good for you guys to see a different side of me. Um, but also, I wanted to tell you guys that you know if you haven't created your 2022 goals, you should uh, you you should try it. Just see if you can write some stuff down that you want to accomplish. And uh, really writing it down and seeing it on a piece of paper um, instead of just keeping it in your mind keeps you accountable, and you can always go back to it. And that's why I always keep a journal, um, which is a really good idea. Um, but with that being said, uh, follow your dreams, follow your heart, follow your passion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, stay focused, shut up, and grind. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. It's like, uh, I think it's like 20 degrees outside, so it's below freezing, and uh, she hasn't been started up for a while, and damn, <laughs> it was a really cold start, <laughs> but it sounds freaking amazing. I hope you guys enjoy.